Vernon, you better go. But... Ugh! Move, damn it! You're wounded, I see. Do not push yourself to fight. Run. I cannot stop of my own accord. You can't talk, though. You probably can't answer, but it's worth a shot. Do you know Chaos's weakness? I do. But I cannot tell you unless you defeat me. Why does that sound like a goddamn video game? It is not like a game. It is a game. To Chaos, at least. However, now is not the time for us to fight. I'd really like to agree with you on that one, but... Wh what should we do? Who are you? I'm a Secret Service agent, can't you tell? Giovanna, you're all right. Where have you been? I've been tailing you this entire time, Mr. President. This entire time? Then why didn't you show yourself soon? You know what they say, save the best for last. What? Mm -hmm. Forgive my language, Mr. President, but I'm about to make sure this son of a bitch can ever fight again. You and Sam should run. Our story has reached its climax. <sighs> Is this... <sighs> Oscar. Frederick. You all right? I passed out for a bit. Where's the president? Right here. Oh, thank goodness. It's the Pentagon. I'll pick up. So, the White House has changed course again. Did the gear maker fail? Yeah, he got wrecked. How much time do we have? 20 minutes. You're kidding. How did Chaos predict all of this? If only we had known things would turn out this way. Huh. <laughs> he knew. Huh? You're right. Chaos knew how this would all play out. But if he did... Then why can't he enter the PEOC? The door to the PEOC won't open without the President's biometric authentication, that's why. Sure. But why can't he hack it, though? We're talking about the guy who got through the security on the WMDs here. Fair point. It's got a mechanism that not even the greatest magic wielder in history can open. And what's that? The PEOC is controlled by old era technology. Am I wrong? <sighs> I suppose this is no time to be keeping secrets. It's true. Thought so. Gabriel, are you listening? Yes. Those Matryoshka codes, they aren't an unknown language. We just can't translate documents that old. Try converting the notes back into letters and numbers. Should be readable enough to anyone from Zap. All right, give me a moment. This is... Machine code. It's Rose. What's it say? We don't have it all converted yet, but. There we are. The PEOC is the escape pod. There's even a manual for activating it. However, 
Since we've lost control of the craft, we have to activate it directly through a bypass. Be at the control tower, visible from the east gate in seven minutes. How you get there is up to you. All right, let's see if the gods are smiling on us. Hope you said your prayers. Are we really doing this? What? There's somewhere else you'd rather go? Yeah. Back to yesterday, please. Calculate, he says. You're not just trusting your gut? It's all I've been able to count on today. Hey, 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 hey! This... this is madness! Get the pace! We got it running. How are things looking, Gearmaker? It's been activated. What's next? Please head to the PEOC and evacuate with the Gearmaker. Our only option is to force our way through. Once it's within five clicks of the border, we will shoot down the White House, whether you're evacuated or not. We may be able to buy you some time if our aircraft makes it to you. You ready for round two?
What a time to be alive. Dickinson. Not yet. Give them just a little longer. <sighs> Please tell me we're gonna be fine. I'll see if I got any of those left in stock. If you hadn't shown mercy, you might have won. Sold out, huh? Whoever's listening, we need more time. Not even a please, huh? Secretary Dickinson. I'm sorry, but we can't wait any I understand the risk you face. We have little time, but hear me out. Today, your Albatross weapons were detonated, but our own weapons avoided that little mishap. So if you shoot down the White House, we will launch an attack on the United States. What? What in a goddamn... No, there's no way you'd risk it. Maybe. But perhaps the same could be said for you. Hmm. I'm not saying it's the smartest move we'll ever make, but I'm still willing to make it. So let's hear it. What happens next? Mm. Do you know? I don't. But if all we can do is pray, then I'm placing my bets on Soul. You may be a hero, but still. Daryl here, if I may cut in. I'm a realist. I don't believe in the power of prayer. Not helping. But I can say this much. Not one of us has ever performed a miracle that changed the world. But Soul Bad Guy has. So, your wounds have healed. All thanks to you. Then this is your last chance. Chance? Fortunately, I can give it a Vernon, if you get a shot at an escape, take it. Can you beat him? He's a monster. Mm. I've been running around so much, I almost forgot. I'm a monster too. Make sure to protect your leader. Did, did you 
beat him? Yeah, but... I didn't learn a thing about Chaos's weakness. That doesn't matter now. Let's move! Gets here. Vernon E. Robins. Three crests verified. Opening locks. So it's open. Hoping for another plot twist. I thought so. No! Sit! And we got so far! Now, Oscar. A climactic duel between master and disciple doesn't make a terrible end. That's true. I would have liked to have spent more time together. But that will have to wait. What the hell? Frederick! That's one sturdy-ass door. Where can I get one? We've just received word from the White House. It would seem that the PEOC launched with chaos inside. It did? And the President? Safe, sir. Everyone is. We've regained control of the White House! <laughs> Looks like they're still breathing. Will their faces return to normal? Hey, I'm just glad they weren't set to explode once the mind control ended. <laughs> I've had about enough of Chaos's traps. Mr. President, do you have a set destination in mind? Not at all. It doesn't matter to me how long it takes to get there, so long as I can get my feet back on solid ground. Something wrong. This craft doesn't have enough power to take off again. I'd ask you all to take rescue crafts away from here. Asuka. Can you not touch back down? Or do you not want to? Please believe me. I didn't want to do things this way. But you will have to suffice as my witness. What the... Witness? Mr. President, Tir Nanog was not designed for air travel. The true purpose of this craft 
was interplanetary transportation. Interplanetary? Correct. When things were looking bleak during the Crusades, some senior officials planned to abandon our planet. So that's what Project Tirnanag was all about. The space colony it was intended to dock at is already complete. It has enough supplies to take care of 400 people for 120 years. I... I intend to take the tome there. But, but why? No one there will seek or desire the tome. I can discard it at last. Then we can just stuff the tome in a spacesuit. There's no need for you to go with it. I appreciate your kindness. However... Have you forgotten my other goal? Getting rid of soul. Whoa! Uh, hold on, Asuka! That was just a hypothetical, wasn't it? You promised you'd give me a proper explanation. As with the Tome, our world has no need for his power. Bullshit! Tell me, who is Soul gonna hurt? Himself. Huh? What if I said it was none of your damn business? <sighs> I may craft a persuasive dissertation, but I've always had trouble choosing words others could understand. So I took a lesson from you, and chose to fight. Let's settle things between us right now. <sighs> sure. Have it your way. I was all primed to fight a magic wielder today anyway. You're right. I've always wanted things my way. Even when I planted this divine seed in you. But now, I'll correct that mistake. If you don't want that, then don't hesitate. Shake off my hand. And kill me. Chaos is still inside. He seems to be unconscious. It might be a trap. Approach with caution. You satisfied? Saul! Are you alright? You tell me. It can't be. Are you... human? Not entirely, I don't think. My greatest mistake... was robbing Frederick and Arya of the time they could have spent together. However, now no one will rely on you as a weapon, nor as a hero. I should have done this a hundred years ago. Uh. Mr. President, sole bad guy, the hero, has perished. This is Frederick Bulsara, an ordinary man. <sighs> and you wanted the whole world to acknowledge that? Shit. <laughs> Nobody told me there'd be an encore performance. You really do need to get better at expressing yourself. Giermik... No. Asuka, let me ask you something. Is this your accumulation of goodwill? Where did you hear that phrase? From Eno. 
No, that's something else altogether. Promise you won't laugh? Only if it's funnier than your space vacation idea. <laughs> radio. I wanted a radio show. Sorry, what? People want the most beautiful fruit, so we spend our lives looking above us. We fail to notice that our baskets are full, and that fruit is falling to the ground and bruising. The people who have realized this have tried finding ways to help. Both the Conclave and Ariels were searching for something. And in their search, they created opposition and conflict. We often misunderstand each other's feelings. We don't always agree. But we can't reject the other's entirety. What we lack is accurate knowledge. Accurate knowledge? 68,502,011 children, all under 14 years old, are being used for labor at this very moment. Orphans, slums, massacres, diseases, child soldiers, war. In the places we can see from up here in the sky, and across the borders we can only see on the map. Every day, people continue to be born. The Tome teaches about the nature of our world. What we need is not a call to action, but numbers. Just numbers, free from ideology, profit, and value. Clear numbers. The Tome grants the right to knowledge, and I simply observe those numbers. In the hopes that one day, I can call them the accumulation of goodwill. Is that what you meant? By creating world peace? Doesn't exactly sound like it's gonna top the charts. Geo! You're not hurt, are you? Only my pride. Kai. Lael. I just got footage from the scene. They've captured Chaos. Good. What a relief. Are the surveillance cameras back up? Some of them. Why? I'd appreciate it if you could tell me where my boss is napping. I can't tell who's who. Will they ever recover from all this? I certainly hope so. Because I really don't want to hold on to that stupid badge as a memento. <laughs> huh? What's wrong? Uh, is that badge you mentioned a cartoony star, by any chance? How did you guess? Uh, well, just hold on a moment. Hey, rewind that real quick. Right away, sir. There. What about it? Was it the security chief's jacket he stole? No, it was Udo's. Chaos is able to freely manipulate people's appearances. The newbie's badges don't look nearly oh, that shit. dumb. Chaos is still inside the White House. Milbigo, my favorite. But you see, if you let it sit, the water and syrup separate. Here, see? People are just like Milbigo. You see, the syrup is the all human desire. And the water is their survival instinct as living beings. Just plain old water would be bland, and the syrup on its own would be too thick. But when you mix them together... Mm -mm. Perfection. That's just how humans are. No! It can't be! As for me, though, I'm 
with a 100% pure, undiluted syrup. And I'm not here for my own sake. I'm here... Because something wouldn't let the cup fill up with water. Chaos! Thing, remember? I noticed right away. The real tongue is right here. What? You're kidding me. You. You fused with a tome? This was the safest way. Until today, maybe. I'm here. Just in time for the grand finale. And everybody on this planet can play a part in our special show. Looks like I'm an even shittier creature than I was before. Want me to sing you happy birthday? <sighs> Nothing happy about it. God's all done with creation now. <sighs> you lost your powers? Yeah, a couple pounds, too. Too bad. I was looking forward to one final showdown. <sighs> Guess it doesn't really matter anymore. Hang on. Where's that damn smirk of yours? You finally became a god. Shouldn't you be thrilled? What does this view look like to you? What's something you don't like? Milk. Then milk. Even if I were to knock you down from here, you wouldn't die. <laughs> to me, it looks like a one. It's all zeros and ones. That's just what it is. There used to be more zeros. That balance would create twos and threes, a beautiful mixture of discord and harmony. But now, my world consists of only ones. And you plan to make everything zeros? That would be pointless. A butterfly can't turn back into a caterpillar. You don't need Asuka, do you? 
Couldn't hurt to hold on to the tome. It ain't a gossip rag for gods. If you give him back, I'll let you go. Huh. <laughs> well, aren't you a stud? <laughs> Run, Frederick! You don't stand a chance against her! Yeah, I wouldn't bet on that. This is a trick. It isn't right. If the moon were that close, our planet would be thrown into turmoil. Nice work, boy genius. You're right, this is a little trick. But the moon really is right there. Cities aren't being crushed by waves. The ocean isn't boiling, and the moon didn't break up in the Earth's atmosphere. Because I'm preventing it. You see, kill me and the trick all falls apart. So we can't attack you. <laughs> Kinda bullshit, huh? In my world, there's no more winning or losing. What is Eno planning? I haven't the slightest idea. But I know we cannot let her see it through. I'm not sure anywhere could be considered safe anymore. But you should get away from here immediately. You're gonna fight that thing? I don't have the courage to throw aside my hope. So I'd ask that you please stand back. I'm the only one who can stop Eno now. That's why I'm asking. Thanks to you, I started to understand. Like Eno said, I think I felt stifled in a world with no place for me. I may not fully feel them, but I do have emotions. But that's exactly why I never wanted anyone to notice. What do you mean? I'm in love with Frederick. And that isn't the future he wants. So I thought I'd do what you recommended. And get one last look at his face. I won't let it be the last. Inu has already become all-powerful. Only all-powerful? <sighs> Frederick. Hesitate 
This is. I haven't talked to my heart for a long time. You can still look at me with that fire in your eyes. I can respect that. There's no more need to put on airs. What are you trying to start? Nothing at all. I merely want to observe. I've given them opportunity, that's all. Opportunity? Once this is over, all of mankind will gain the same power I have. They will see everything I can. A world of freedom and equality. A world without hope. However, any living organism, when faced with the risk of extinction, gains an opportunity for evolution. If mankind's potential is infinite, I want to know the future that awaits us. Even a perfect being could not necessarily create a perfect world. Then I'll leave it to the next generation. I see. Magic is the power to bend the rules of nature. If all of mankind were to have unfettered access to power on the scale of Enos... It would kill this world and birth a new universe. And I'll repeat the process, over and over, as many times as it takes until I've found my answer. <laughs> now I feel silly for getting so anxious. That does indeed sound like the work of a god. However... Do you truly know yourself well enough to look for weaknesses of all mankind? The only things that could stop me now are the flame of corruption or the scales of Juno. And they're long gone. <laughs> what? what? Not quite. Slight though it may be, it's right here. Dragon install.
guess it's time for me to go. I wish I could have seen Azeo with you. So long. Uh, Vernon. I got a favor to ask. I'll give you credit for one thing. You sent a little chill down my spine there. Hmm? After all you've done, is this really what you wanted? What? Now you want to stand in my way? No, I'm not here for a fight. Then why are you here? Cross, violent, a loner who isn't afraid of anything? You mean me? Actually, I was talking about Sol. But yeah, you two are really similar. Just with one key difference. Unlike Sol, you don't know what you want. <laughs> you once told me that people have to find their own right to keep living. I think they have to find their happiness too. We pick up a memory to take with us as we go. We carve the knowledge into ourselves that we were happy before even if only once. So that we can remember it at the end of our lives. I'd like to see if you can remember yours. If I did, would it make you smile? Seeing the look in your eyes now? It makes me miss your sadistic look of joy when you'd say, you asked for this. Well, you and I have both been building our fictional worlds. Today, one of them comes to a close. It's going to be yours, Eno. Jacko? <laughs> so the band's all here. <sighs> so it was a question of loss and gain after all. Which should disappear? The world, or me? What? It can't be... You! Hold on, Jackie. What do you mean, disappear? I can stop Eno at the cost of my own existence. That's my role. It's only natural. But... Thank you for your concern. How can that be natural? There's no gain in that. Does my lack of emotions deny me the right to save the world? Isn't that what you were trying to do? Uh, uh. your expectations. Even if I'm just artificial, disappearing is scary, huh? God 
damn it. <laughs> what are you doing? Who would just give up after a one-sided breakup, huh? Stop it! There's no other way to save the world. Screw the world. That's no good reason for you to disappear on me. No, no good, good reason? I decided. When you showed up as a part of Arya, that no matter who you really are, no matter what happens, I would always stay by your side. You decided? You're going to drag all of humanity down with your own selfish choice? Who are you to say I'm dragging him down? The planet, the universe, the future. Who gets to determine the value of humanity? <laughs> Isn't it selfish of mankind to survive in the first place? You're, You're so, so strong. strong. You really are. The only things I can accept are my feelings for you. That's why... It's not, it's not a contradiction, a contradiction for me to save the world. world. Even, Even if it's, it's one I only just discovered. discovered. But, but you want to save, save Arya, Arya, don't you? you? There's... I... I, I can't, can't do it. Do it. Arya, Arya isn't, isn't coming, coming back. back. <sighs> but, there's but there's nothing, nothing else, else I can I do. do. Nowhere, Nowhere else, else I belong. I belong. Have I ever called you, Arya? If Arya doesn't come back, that's her choice. But, Jacko, Arya wanted you to stay here. Like that hat of hers. So, even if it means the end of the world, I'm not gonna let you go. Even if it means... The end of the world? Now do you finally see? This is the world we're supposed to save. If I... If I... Can be by his side? I don't care if the world ends. Still turning. So that's your big trump card. Some fireworks. I know those eyes of yours. Eyes? Yeah. They're the eyes of justice. What people have always fought for. And the winners always got their reward. Well, but for some reason... Now that I'm looking into those same eyes, I think we chose the wrong way to fight. Our trump card... is that fool over there. No matter what you bring, I'm not going away. 100% chance. Though I guess you can't even comprehend what 100% even means to me now. It doesn't mean shit to anyone but you. 
It's just some tiny moment of your own little world. The Outrage. As long as the energy from the Zeal Pods last, it'll output an infinite amount of power. You have a shitty memory, don't you? That garbage doesn't work on me. <sighs> I see. Soul intentionally took a critical hit. Eno is a magic wielder. A logical magic wielder would continue to use the same method so long as it works. Was this how he planned to beat the gear maker? Tell me, Mr. President. What do my eyes look like to you? The eyes of someone with nothing. Someone on the run. Someone seeking dignity. Your eyes are all of those. And at the same time, none of them. Some tiny moment. Hmm. Frederick Balsara. If you can prove that to me, I'll stroke your victory. Soul, Eno has regenerative capabilities. No shit. If I can't hit her weak point, she'll be right. It'll all be for nothing. Like I said, I'll put up the best fight I can. That's all I ask, and I'll do the same. impossible, you could also say it's 0% possible. And infinity crushes zero! There's no way you'd ever need a weapon like that. So why the hell did you make it? 
because it never bored me. Huh. I don't really care about utility, or even the greater good. Like you said, I'm a goddamn idiot. Ugh. Random things you value will pile up like a stack of unread books. Even if one of the books in the stack could impact you enough to change your life. You're gonna have a whole new stack before you ever get around to it. <laughs> That's why you need something that you can keep working on without getting bored of it. There are too many distractions out there otherwise. Maybe you had something like that too. <laughs> oh, Axel. You were right all along. I had everything. Both good and bad. But I can't remember any of it now. Even though so much must have happened. Did I somehow just forget? Wei! We were... drinking tea! And we looked out... at the beautiful sea together, right? I was scared as hell of you, but you heard me out anyway. You... you made me so happy! Please, remember something! Anything! Why are you crying? I can't get anything out but tears! <sighs> Beautiful blonde hair. Like a woman's. Soul. Fast food, really? Hmm. When they rebuild the White House, we'll be far away from this place. I look up at the sky every day. But from here, it looks completely different. Chip returned to his country. You didn't manage to headhunt him then? We did a lot of sightseeing together, but... Fools always like to follow their own maps. We finished compiling the data from each country, as well as drafting up non-disclosure agreements. After the funeral this evening, this incident should be finally settled. A 21-gun salute to send our hero off to heaven. Huh. I hope that today we can all look up at the same sky. I imagine the other countries will be scratching their heads over these incident reports. In the end... What was the future Eno wanted? You should know. Or rather, you both should. Hmm? The one thing that can offer us fulfillment... She was never able to find her own. What she lacked was in the past nor a future, but rather a present. The past, the future, their hope and their foundations, none of that means anything without the present. People only ever look at themselves, yet they can never fully know themselves. It's the hard truth, and I know it all too well.
Huh. Hello? Are you open? Your eyes work? Huh. Couldn't you see the business hours? Is this rundown place really jazz? <sighs> There's a bookstore in the town 40 kilometers from here. Go find a book to teach you some damn manners. Now I get why this place is so run down. Oh, sounds like the words of someone with no taste. You steal that line from one of your precious books? Can't imagine that one got a second printing. <laughs> what size? 201Z. In-wheel type with five pins. 201Z? Where'd you come from? How'd you even get here without a jacket? Not a fashionista, huh? It'd be a waste to cover up this shirt with a jacket. This place is 28 hours away from the city by car, see? It takes 28 hours for the latest trend to get here. Here. No freaking way. You've really got one. Mm hmm? That's a Spiritos Type 48, right? What about it? I knew it. I knew you'd have one. Hey, you don't need your 201Z? Have you heard the rumors? They don't make the Spiritos anymore. You can't get them anywhere. They say it's because the American government gathered them all. Then, out of love and anti-war sentiment, the president buried them all in a grave of a certain hero. After a while, one young man came to that grave. He refused to accept his hero's death. So, even knowing how crazy it was, he dug that grave up, and what he found was an empty coffin. No body, no spiritus. And whose grave was that? Uh, I think you'd tell me you never heard of him. I'm gonna head home for today. For today? You planning on coming back? Well, I've gotta go buy that book on manners. A country bumpkin like you may not realize, but it takes a lot of passion for a city boy to come all the way out here with no jacket. I'm not selling you the Spiritas, got it? I know. You're gonna use it for what you've got back there, yeah? The hell are you after? I don't really know. I guess I want to be friends. <laughs> 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. What? Those are our business hours. <laughs> I'm giving you my unfair way of life. You asked for this. Uh, uh? I don't get it, but that's what she told me to say. Are you... really Axel?
What is peace? Some people know. Everyone wants an answer to that question. Why? It's simple. Because no one's ever seen it before. Even if there's no misery before our eyes, we know that it's out there, somewhere. There are hills and valleys. But that doesn't mean we should flatten it all out. Mechanisms that simply prevent inequality take sin away from mankind. We belong neither in the wilderness nor shut in buildings. We belong somewhere peaceful. Peace comes to be when people forgive each other's sins. When all sin vanishes from the world. That's when peace will vanish too. And the gears that give mankind meaning will stop turning. Is peace just a dream, then? It's not that simple. Just as every human face is different, so too are the worlds we all dream of. Some people are just incompatible. But if there's one thing I know for sure, there's no need to aim for a perfect world. As long as you keep trying, that world will eventually come to you. What matters is that before that happens, you know the meaning of your life. I will now begin my first radio broadcast. This is all new to me, so I'm afraid I may not be very eloquent. Your head touching me, what do you want to know? It's just beautiful, it's just beautiful. Your eyes reflecting me, what do you wish for? Cause I want to know you, so let's talk about you. Oh, 
mankind knew that they can. Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs>
RK. Who dares to enter the May Faust? Mankind knew that they cannot change society. Duel 1. Let's rock! My goal is to secure the demi human. I have no interest in you. Secure. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts. Heaven or hell. Well then, to a dazzling encounter. Won't abandon patience. Faust versus Tessus. Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs>
Slap. Slap. Operation Success. Faust wins. Mankind knew. Duel one. Let's rock.
mankind. Duel one. Let's rock. Mix, 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 Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts. Heaven or hell. Okay, let's assess your threat level. Duel one. Let's rock. Let's <laughs> go. 
Mankind knew that. Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs> Wins. 